Hi guys, Tito Said here and I'm here with my wife. Yeah, and hi. Here are my sisters-in-law with me. Here's Ariella. It's her first time passing through the immigration because of international travel. Here's Atilay, the veteran. So we just got through uh, immigration. The line was long. We got here around 3, 3.30 a.m. We just got here around 5.30 a.m. So we're going to Taiwan. It's my first time. We're going to recommend places to go and places to eat tomorrow. We're going to the North Coast tour. Our itinerary today is once we arrive at the Taoyuan International Airport, we'll stop by Siemens Station. Once we arrive there, we'll go to King Shi Hotel. But first, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And click on the bell icon to help the channel promote its algorithm in YouTube. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the scenery. Okay, we just got off the plane and we're going to pass through immigrations first. So there's a big difference because in the Philippines, it's a very long line, but here in Taiwan, almost no line. <laughs> oh, really, we need to step up in the Philippines. Okay, we just passed through uh, immigration. It was a fast process, around 15 minutes. First off, we will just claim our baggages here at the baggage area, and then we will go to the clock counter. So we just got our bags here, yeah, right here. We're going to the clock booth to get our fun pass and easy card and SIM. Okay, here's the booth. Okay, so we just got our items from clock. The SIM card, the fun pass, and the, the orange one is the EC card. After going from the clock booth, we'll take our chances on the Lucky Land raffle. So here's the Taiwan Lucky Land booth that I've been talking about. There is a long line. Really, they want to win this raffle. Sadly, I haven't won anything. <laughs> Even my companions, they haven't won anything. So having exchanged our currency, we're now going to King Shi Hotel. So let's go to the MRT station to go there. Okay guys, we just got inside Taiwan's MRT. Uh, really is an improvement from Philippines MRT. We just got off the high-speed rail line. So we will go to the Song Xinjian line to get to the Siemens station. So here we go. So we've just got out of the train lines and we're now inside the city proper. So we're now walking to the King Shi Hotel. Let me show you the place. So if you guys see here, there are a lot of stores at the sidewalk. It's like Pinondo but cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Pinondo but it's gonna rain in Pinondo. Okay, so we're near King Shi Hotel. It's the yeah. one with the green sign over there. So we just need to cross the street and it's really quite interesting here because uh, back in the Philippines, people really do not follow the traffic signs and the pedestrian lanes but now here in Taiwan, the people follow the street signs and the pedestrian lanes. It's a world of difference. We're now nearing King Shi Hotel. Okay, we'll just leave our luggages here inside the hotel. So here are the others' luggages. They also left. Okay, we left our bags and we'll go outside again. And we will eat. <laughs> We're getting lost again, but really, it's part of the process. <laughs> uh, it's part of the process, said Atilay. So having Google Maps here is really a lifesaver. Okay, we're going inside the Wanyan building. So, Sinyuan Pork Ribs is located in the basement as told by the signages at the entrance. So, we'll see. Uh, we're going downstairs now. Okay, so the menu is all Chinese. So, I will try to Google Lens to help me understand. Oh, they translated it for me. There, you could see here. So maybe I'll order a pork ribs noodles and fried spring rolls. And also I will try the low pork rice. Okay, so first I will try the fried spring rolls. And there. It has a sauce on the side, so it seems spicy, but I will taste it first. There are pickles on the side. Okay. With the little pickles. Mm. The spring rolls taste like there are squid balls inside, mixture of vegetables and something crunchy inside. The pickles add a slight tanginess or sourness to the dish. It's 
slightly salty and full of umami because it tastes like seafood. The sauce adds spiciness and pepperiness to the dish. Actually, I thought the pork ribs should be together with the noodles, but this is the pork ribs to this fried and this is the noodles that is together with the pork ribs so they are served separately so first let's try the pork ribs by itself let's get one big chunk of the pork ribs it seems so juicy and crunchy on the outside okay let's take a bite mm. the pork ribs has been fried perfectly the inside is tender the outside is still crunchy it tastes peppery and a bit salty but just a tasty piece of pork i will try to put uh, chili paste because of course i like the spicy food here's the look uh, inside the container of the chili paste ah, looks so spicy let's take a dip of the sauce oh it's really better with the spicy sauce. It's really spicy but I can take the spiciness if you are a normal person who does not like spicy food. The sauce is a bit sweet but more on the spicy side. I think it will be too much for you. Really, it's better with the sauce. So next we will try the noodles with the soup. Let's take a sip of the soup. Mmm, smells good. Mmm. It's really light, the broth, so it could pair well with the pork ribs. So let's try the noodles now. Here is a really long pull of the noodle. The noodles is just cooked right, it's al dente. The broth has really incorporated with the noodles. So we will try the pork ribs with the noodles. So here is a piece of pork rib and let's eat it with the noodles. The lightness of the broth, the springiness of the noodles, and the crunchy and tenderness of the pork meshes well together. There is also an option that includes the pork with the rice. So this is the luo pork rice. There is a mixture of eggs and bits of pork inside this rice and the vegetables. I think this is kangkong on the side. Okay, let's try the luo pork rice. Let's get a bit of everything. Some piece of egg, piece of pork, piece of bamboo shoot, and also a piece of vegetables and kangkong. One spoonful that includes everything. Okay, let's take a bite. There's a porky taste and the egg also has a slightly sweet taste. The vegetables provided a bit of crunch. So overall, this can be partnered with the pork ribs well. So let's try it with the pork ribs also. Mm. It tastes really good with the rice. In between the two, I find that the rice is tastier than the noodles. If I could order again, I will order the rice instead versus the noodles. For the lower pork rice, they include a, a soup. I'll taste it if it's the same with the noodles. Mm. I think this is the broth that is used to, to boil the pork, but it's not the same with the noodle soup. Okay, overall, here at Sinyuan Pork Ribs, the meals are tasty and they are actually cheap. If you like uh, pork ribs and your Taiwanese cuisine, you should try it here. Okay, so right now we got out of the mall. Taiwan is never complete when you haven't tried their milk tea. So we will try their milk tea here. It's called uh, Tea Sommelier. They have a popularity chart. I think I should try the top drinks that they have. Actually, all of their menu is in Chinese. Thankfully, the automated machine behind me has English. Okay, so what I've ordered is the barley black soy milk. I added some tapioca pearls, boba. So my wife and my sister-in-law try their matcha drink. And they say it's legit. It's like the taste of true matcha, not the instant one. Yeah, there. That's the matcha one. It's matcha wrap. <laughs> so let's try. Mm. It's creamy and slightly sweet because I, I picked a 50% sugar. Has tasted a bit nutty because of the soy. I haven't tasted the barley much because the creaminess of the drink has overtaken the taste of barley. Also, the boba feels chewy to the bite. We're now going back to Kingshi Hotel to check in. I've noticed that all the other bags are already gone, so we're the only ones that haven't checked in yet. Let's go to our room.
We've got inside the hotel room. We're trying to get a bit of rest before going back outside. After resting here, we will go to Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall and Taipei 101. The hotel room seems nice for the price because for around 4 days, we paid around 9,000 NTD or 19,000 pesos for 4 days. It appears clean and my wife told us that she specifically picked this spot because the toilet is not placed on the floor. So the toilet is the normal type. The place also smells nice. Furniture is decent and also the sheets and the bed sheets. Okay, after resting from the hotel, we're going first to Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. It's because the scenery is better there while there is daylight as compared to when it is night. Okay, let's go there. Okay, so we're nearing Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. It's the building colored white there. Let's go. So I was mistaken. This is not yet the Memorial Hall. And this is just the Ark. The real Memorial Hall is still inside there. So how's my wife? I am so <laughs> Even though it's cloudy today, but still humid and hot. It's like the So I just found out from the visitor's map that that building is the National Theater. And the other building here is the National Concert Hall. So at last, we're up here because the steps was so tiring, but it's all worth it because inside the hall, you will see the statue of Chiang Kai-shek inside. There's the statue. Okay, so next venue we will be going to is the Taipei 101. Okay, so we have a taste of air conditioning again after having been experiencing hot and humid environment. So we've arrived at Taipei 101. We're going to find a way how to get to the top floor. We are now here in the ticketing area of the observatory and because of the Taipei Fun Pass, we got the observatory full price ticket here and there's no hassle to get. So thank you Fun Pass. Thank you. <laughs> so here we are now in the observatory and actually I needed to equalize while inside the elevator because the height went up too fast. So <laughs> my ears plugged up and I can't hear well. It's really high up here. So here's the view. Okay, so this is our last stop at the observatory in Taipei 101. So this is the damper that the structure uses so the building maintains its stability even when there are typhoons or earthquakes. So we just ended our tour here in Taipei 101 and we're heading back to Simending Night Market to have our dinner. Okay, let's go! <laughs> okay, so now we're back again at night market. I don't know where to go yet, but let's see. Let's taste the ano, brown sugar boba milk of the Sinfo Tang. Mm. This is definitely better than the milk tea that I tasted earlier. It's sweeter, creamier, and the boba tastes sweeter. So far, this is the best. Maybe tomorrow, my opinion will change. Okay, so let's taste the Taiwanese chicken that they have. Here's a piece of it. Uh, they have put salt and pepper above, maybe chili powder. So let's take a bite. Mm. Wow. I have been told that their chicken is not the best but it's still tasty, salty, peppery and a little spicy but not too spicy and it has a hint of fried spice. It has that distinct Taiwanese chicken flavor. The breading is crunchy and the meat is tender and juicy. Very good. Okay, let's try the Aichung rice flour noodles. We have put many condiments earlier. Uh, vinegar, garlic, chili. This must have full of flavors. So let's try. One spoonful. Oh, 
It has its distinct herby taste and tasted vinegary. It still has, I think, pork innards, but there is also a porky flavor in the broth. The noodles is so soft. Not too al dente, but this must be the characteristic of rice noodle floor. But overall, it seems good. But for others, uh, like Lex, she tasted this earlier and <laughs> she did not like this. Here's a spoonful of innards. Let's taste again. Chewy, full of umami, but definitely something tasting exotic. Alright, uh, we will try the fried chicken of JNG. They said that it is the Taiwan's number one fried chicken, but we don't know. I will just try it. Okay, let's try the JNG fried chicken. Still hot, actually really hot. One piece of chicken. Mm. It's just a bone. The taste is a little bit better versus sin putang. But the breading is still crunchy, full of flavor. But overall, it's still almost the same versus sin putang. But of course, the difference, uh, JNG has a bone. It's supposed to be boneless. So that's the only downside of having a JNG fried chicken as your order. Okay, so having tasted two types of Taiwanese chicken right now, we will not have another piece of Taiwanese chicken for now. Okay, so we're right, right in front of the neighboring 7-Eleven after the crispy milky donut branch. Unfortunately, the store closed because it has sold out its number of milky donuts. Luckily, we have ordered our set of donuts. I will try one. Here it is. One bite of the crispy milky donut. Mm. It's fluffy, buttery, and also the sugar. It is a bit sweet, but not too sweet. It's so soft. The milky powder tasted so well. It's a must try. It's around only 40 NTD. I am lucky to have the last one. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the hotel. So we're now back again at our hotel room and <laughs> my companions have been feeling pain at their foot. Most of the day, we have tallied more than 20,000 steps. So it is just the first day out of four days that we will stay here. It's not over yet. The video will continue tomorrow. See you guys. Okay guys, so today we're going to the North Coast tour. So I will put a link on the description for the fun pass for its benefits and how to get it. Just check it in the description below. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already and click on the bell icon so as to help the video's algorithm get more people to watch our videos. While waiting nearby, uh, we've discovered a pork bun shop here. We bought one and we'll taste one. Mm. Their pork bun tastes good for its flavor. It's porky, fatty, tastes quite a bit salty. The meat is garlicky. The meat is also oozing with pork broth. It also has soft bun. It is a must try. It looks like the bus has arrived, so let's get inside the bus. Okay, my name is Suni Nolet. Nolet, okay? Okay, so we've just arrived at the Yellow Jail Park. We're now here at the entrance lining up for getting inside. We were given drinks. One is the option of the boba and one is the option of the mango shake. So I'll taste the mango shake that I ordered. So we just got past the entrance. Here's the mango shake. We'll taste it. Oh, your mango shake tastes quite good. It compares to the mango shake served in Zambales, Zambales, Philippines. It's slightly sweet, tangy, but it's more on the sweet side. Guys, uh, really, it's so beautiful here. Air smells nice. More on the smell of the fresh sea. The rock formations and the arrangement of the landscape, it is quite a scene to see. Also, in the near distance, it's the Queen's Bookstore. I also can see now why the tour guide not recommended going to the third area. The third area is up there. Uh, it requires a lot of steps to go through. The steps are uphill, so <laughs> this line behind me is the line for taking a picture to the Queen's Head. The Queen's Head is that one. So that is the line that I do not want to take. 
I just took a video so you guys could see. So it appears that we have little time remaining. So we'll just go to the market and buy souvenirs and gifts for people back home. We're finished buying here in the marketplace. So we have our own hauls. <laughs> Let's go back to the bus. Okay, we're going to number nine parking now. Number nine parking, we get there by 11.40. Hopefully later we get the shuttle bus. Shuttle bus one people is 30 NT. So we are now in the area that we will transfer from the tour bus to the public bus. The public bus is the bus required to go to Jufen. It costs around 30 NTD per pack. This is the system here. Okay, so the feel inside the bus is like climbing Baguio, which has zigzag roads. As you can see here, we just got off the public bus. Ah, the view here is so nice. This place looks like we really need to do a lot of walking inside uh, alleys and streets like this. Okay, so we're now walking inside Chufen Old Street. There are a lot of free tastes here as told by the tour guide. What is this? Ginseng. Ginseng? So this is ginseng oolong tea. Ginseng is also sugar free. So sugar free. Oh, it's good. It tastes like black tea. It tastes slightly sweet, but the overwhelming taste of oolong is there. So she's giving me salabat. Uh, oh, gingery. Slightly sweet too also. So that's salabat. There are also a lot of uh, hobby shops here like uh, calligraphy. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but they make little models of toys there. They also serve dried strawberry here, so I'll try one. One dried strawberry. Mm. The dried strawberry is crunchy and it's not too sweet at all and it's also not too sour. Actually, it's a balance of both. Okay, so let me try their Taiwanese sausage. Here is one stick of Taiwanese sausage. Mm. Their Taiwanese sausage tastes like a bit salty, like a chorizo, Chinese chorizo, but also flaky on the outside but tender on the inside. It has a slight garlicky taste. Overall, the Taiwanese sausage has its own distinct taste. So what they have here is the Japanese cake we call back at home in the Philippines. It uses just the pancake where inside there is cream or red bean. Mm. Almost the same as the ones back home. The filling is more custardy. It also has a crunchy outside and a soft fluffy feel on the inside. It is creamy, has a slightly sweet taste. It's alright for 35 NTD per piece. So let's try the milky cheese stick that they have here. Mm. It's flaky outside and a bit crunchy and also it has sugar outside so it makes it slightly sweet. The inside batter has cheese in it so the slight saltiness of the cheese mixed up for the combination of slightly sweet and slightly salty. I have here Grandma Lai's taro balls, so I asked them to serve it ice. Here it goes. One scoop of taro balls here. In Filipino, it's called Gabi. Let's try. Mm. The freshly made taro balls is flavorful. The Gabi is tasty. It also has other toppings. It includes this green one and the yellow one. Uh, let's taste it first so I could know what it is. So it is still taro balls but it's colored. It also has sweet potato balls. The taro balls are also quite chewy. The chewiness makes it enjoyable to eat. There are also traces of mung beans or mungo in Filipino. It adds a slight earthy taste of the mung beans. So this is the cream puff. The filling is freshly pressed inside. So this is the hole that they made. The inside flavor is just cream. I will open up this one. Oh. Okay. So this is the filling inside. Let's taste. Okay. Very good. So the cream from this cream puff is tastier versus the cream that I have tasted earlier. The only huge difference, because this one is a cream puff, this has a flaky feel. So this is just eating a croissant or croissant. 
with the cream inside. It's really good. So we'll try the ice cream doriyaki. It is just ice cream squeezed in pancake. So let's try. Red bean taste. Mm. The red bean ice cream uh, tastes earthy and nutty. It's also slightly sweet. And the pancake is also soft and fluffy. Overall, it complements the combination. Okay, we went ahead and separated from our main group. Okay, just look at the view here from the top. Okay, because we have separated from our main group, we are free here. Less people, not crowded. Also, if you could see the fog. Oh. Okay, it just started to rain. Maybe a factor of it is because the fog is already near us, so that's why it rained. Now it's 1.55, the call time for the bus. Maybe the next destination is the Sheaf and Waterfalls, we'll see. It's important that we go out of here because it's raining. Really difficult to video and navigate. Okay, so we're now inside the bus and we're going back to the place we came. Our tour bus is parked there. <laughs> At last, we came back. Okay, so now we are going to Waterfalls. So who don't have umbrella if you don't have umbrella? Do you have a fine umbrella the driver have? You can buy it. We're now nearing the Schiffen waterfall. There is just a little rain. The rain is starting to get stronger, but we're now crossing this hanging bridge and it's a bit wobbly. So safety first. You gotta hold on to the railings at the so we're having a bit of a walk trip so I'll show you a clip so you could see the trail that we are walking so we're walking through a narrow walkway that has stores inside of it this is the view from here this is the waterfall but there's a better viewpoint down there we'll get a little closer so we're now here at the waterfall you put waterfall So right now we're just going back to the cafe that we went through earlier so we could eat and stay for a while while it's raining. Okay, so I'll just taste the bacon roll that has chives inside. This is the piece of bacon roll. Oh, the bacon roll has a porky and meaty taste and it is a thick cut and also inside it has chives so it gives off a slightly garlicky and oniony note of taste. Okay, we just left the cafe and we're just going back to our tour bus. Five o'clock, five o'clock. So we're going to the site where lanterns are released for wishes. The Pingxi Sky Lantern. You'll see later what it looks like there. Okay, so the railroad truck is where we will release the lanterns for our wishes. So you could see there that there are other people who will release their wishes too. Hopefully all our wishes come true. Actually, we have a fun pass, so we got a free sky lantern. But usually, it costs around 250, 250 for one four color sky lantern. So it appears that the two fun pass is equivalent to one four color sky lantern. So we availed both me and Lex for a four color sky lantern. We've just finished writing our wishes and waiting for the lantern to dry. And then later on, we will release the wishes. So we've just finished releasing our lanterns and it appears that the ones who are assisting us releasing of lanterns are Bebo or they are quite funny because they make us pose using no, the Filipino language. To Filipino tourists. They are already used to Filipino tourists. It was an enjoyable experience. Okay, here's a weird one because I will eat this before the peanut roll ice cream. This is the rice stuffed chicken wing. There is a literal rice serving inside. Mm, wow, the chicken is so tender inside. It has a sesame seed flavor. It is also peppery, savory, salty. The rice is also cooked to just right. Very good. I'll try the peanut roll ice cream that I ordered from the tour guide. So here is one roll. It tastes like ice cream that is made from peanut brittle in the Philippines. So it has a really nutty taste. Also, the ice cream is. I think is taro and also a weird aftertaste because of the cilantro. It has an herby aftertaste. The wrap is like a lumpiang sariwa. It is an acquired taste. So we're in the bus right now and going back to Taipei main station. The tour guide gave us rice cakes. So there's a choice of picking between red beans, taro, taro for legs. 
and also the green one which is salty this is because the bus was delayed earlier so they gave us this free stuff taking a bite okay so the rice cake has a similar texture to the mochi and the red bean makes it taste uh, slightly sweet and also it's chewy and enjoyable to eat Okay, so now we're here at the Taipei main station. So we're just going back to the hotel using the MRT. Let's go back to the hotel. So we're back now at the hotel and we tried to freshen up because the whole day has been really exhausting. But we are not yet done. We are going to Rauhe Night Market for our dinner. Let's go! Okay, so now we're near the Rauhe Night Market. We're going in. Even though it's raining, we will try to explore the Rauhe Night Market as much as we can. We shall try the Michelin starred Pujo Black Pepper Bun. So this is one piece. There are sesame seeds above it and it has a crisp bottom. So I will try to open this so you could see. Oh, crap. This looks really good. And hot. And hot. <laughs> so I will try to taste one half first. I will try this side. Oh, it's really good. The meat, it's very peppery as the name says about the food. And also the scallions or the green onions added a bit of crunch. It has a certain feel of umami into it and also a meaty flavor. The bun really tastes like uh, sesame seeds. It's crunchy outside and soft inside. It's really a must try here in Rauhel Night Market. So this is one piece of juicy chicken meat rolls. So let's taste this. Mmm! So tender and also the chicken juices flowed out from the meat. It's tasty, full of umami, slightly garlicky and slightly salty but on the savory side. This is a good chicken roll. So let's try their Angus beef steak. Here's one piece. Mm. So they had a flavor called Taiwanese salt. So we tried that flavor. So the beef was tender inside. Not overly cooked but on the side of medium well. It's already colored brown. It is not medium rare. It's still chewy. Chewy to the point that you still can enjoy the steak. Peppery, uh, beefy taste. Overall, it's all right for the price of 200 NTD for this many servings. Okay, so let's try their corn dog. It's not already Instagrammable because it's a mess. <laughs> let's try the mozzarella first. The mozzarella is on top, and the sausage or hot dog is below. Hmm. The outside texture of the corn dog has just the right bite. It's crunchy and also uh, it has a savory breading. The mozzarella is enjoyable to eat because it's chewy. The mozzarella is really good. So I finished the top part for its mozzarella. Now the next one is the Korean corn dog. The Korean corn dog tastes a bit salty but just the right amount to distinguish it from being just a Korean corn dog. Unlike the Taiwanese sausage one, uh, this is softer and it also complements the crunch that the corn dog has. Walking through Rauhe Night Market, it seems to never end. There are even kids playing uh, at the side. Uh, different types of games as shown on the screen. I don't know what games are they playing but they are having a good time. It's not all food here. There are also different types of leisure that you can do here.
So we will try the fried dumplings, but it seems that the dumplings are not fully fried. It is steamed first, then fried. Let's try one. This is the dumpling, and then I will have some bit of scallions and chili on top here. Mm, good. And the bottom of the dumpling is crunchy while the other parts is soft. The inside has a porky and garlicky flavor and also the scallions added a bit of crunch. Also a bit of spice because of the chili. This is a good dumpling. This is the last time for now that I will taste a Taiwanese fried chicken because yesterday and today I have tasted a Taiwanese chicken. So many types of Taiwanese chicken. This time, this Taiwanese chicken is not good. Not good? Mm. It's already tough. The flavor, it has a hint of five spice. Overall, there's no savoriness to it. The chicken lacks seasoning. Not recommended. So the last one is the dorayaki. The dorayaki that I will taste is the tiramisu. So this is the tiramisu dorayaki. The tiramisu dorayaki has its distinct flavor of creamy cheese mascarpone and the aromatic espresso that it has. So, a slight bitterness of coffee taste. Overall, the dorayaki is good. Okay guys, um, so we've just finished eating from Howlin' Night Market. So, <laughs> so my companions have been really exhausted because the whole day we've been walking, we've been really busy eating and just sightseeing. This time we will rest later. You will see in this vlog the evolution of our faces from day one to day four. <laughs> it just gets better every time. <laughs> Okay, so this concludes our vlog for the first two days, day one and day two. We just have two remaining days left, days three and days four. So this will be a two-part series of vlog for Taiwan. Like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already and click on the bell icon to help the video have a better algorithm in YouTube. Hanggang dito muna si Tito Set, signing off muna. Thank you guys! <laughs>